Okay, hi everybody, good to see you. Uh, well, welcome to this new vlog of mine. So today so many different things happened and went on and I had to do and lots of stuff, so I just have to give a quick list of everything. Yeah, so I'll be doing some more vlogs just like this, not just from outside and uh, all around what my days are and uh, filming other people, but also now a bit more from my home office, home studio here. So today so many different things happened and went on and I had to do and lots of stuff, so I just have to give a quick list of everything. So first, I started the day quite early at 8 o'clock. For three hours I was sorting through uh, video footage uh, of a helicopter flying over Norway. Um, so that's at my work at the video production company or TV production company. Yeah. But of course Norway is a big country so this will take a long time to see through. So we have several people working with that but yeah. And then number two, I spent an hour on working on the website. Then I went home, picked up my wife, oh no actually first made a smoothie and uh... <laughs> Then me and my wife, we drove to the hospital because she has some checkups to do and so that luckily was all good and didn't take much time, so that was good. We drove home in the sunshine, when we arrived it was starting to get grey and rainy <laughs> and then the sun came back. And then Vanessa and me, my wife and I, we went for a lovely little uh, dinner at a cafe, we had some nice goulash soup. Uh, here in Norway I've only eaten really good goulash soup one time. Sorry, my grandma, she is, uh, has uh, like family from like um, Hungary and stuff. So I grew up with much stronger Hungarian goulash. Uh, I don't know, even know if that's the proper English word, but that's what we call it. Um, so I love that. Uh, but that's really, really hard to get in Norway because Norwegians don't like spicy food at all. <laughs> they think they do, but it's not spicy at all. So. And then after that uh, I went to the post office, picked up some stuff and also I went to the shopping mall and I bought a little memory card because now it's one week uh, since I bought this little gem. I already posted about this on Facebook once but it was a good old mp3 player. As small as an iPod shuffle, has a clip on the back, I don't know if you can see that. And it has a display, so I actually have proper navigation on here, so it's much better than an iPod Shuffle. And it has a memory card slot. So this little thing cost just, I don't know, a little bit more than my Apple earbuds <laughs> that I had to replace some weeks ago or months ago. So that has 8 gig, and I can put in another 32, so now I have 40 gig of music. And like I said, I've been already using this for a week now, so I've rediscovered some music that I had collected over the last 20 years or so, which I don't even know, most of that is not on iTunes or Spotify, so I want that music. I don't want to fill up my iPhone, because my iPhone is mainly used for video blogging and these kind of things, so space is limited. I can't put memory cards into an iPhone, which is really annoying, Apple should really change that. I don't care about Apple's policy, it is just stupid, they should just put a micro SD card slot in there and this is so small I don't even feel it in my pocket so if I have my I was really worried that like yeah, I don't want to have too many devices on me on a day-to-day -day basis right but nowadays I just go around with my headset an iPhone and this and this one doesn't even I can't feel it in my pocket so it's just small enough so it's just perfect I can be on the train and I can listen to music and now with 40 gig I can put on so much songs on there again. On this computer, which is also mainly for work and video, there's like no music. I'll just put that in there. Or it's not sticking out, protruding or whatever you say. It's not sticking out in any way. So now I have this and I can put all my music or at least 40 gigs. You don't need a new iPhone or a bigger phone or whatever. So it's called, it's a sand disk. Uh, it's called Clip Jam MP3 player. I don't know, it says here on the back. I don't know if you can read that here. All right, here we go. And then a big shout out to the artist who I just rediscovered, musician or actually DJ, producer, um, electronic worship star. <laughs> He's like the only guy who really does good, good, good electronic Christian music. Uh, so it's really sad, there's only him. But Andy Hunter is who I'm talking about. 
So now I just rediscovered the old um, Life or Life Light or whatever it's called, the EP from uh, I don't know 2005 or six or something. Some of the great great songs. So one is Beautiful, which sounds like this. And that is just amazing. Also the lyrics and everything. Wow. So if you don't know um, Andy Hunter, you should really find both his old and his new music. He's still producing music, he's still out there. He's bigger today than he was back then. But he's been going since 2003 or even before that, I think. I mean, wow. Good, good songs. Another jam is Harmony. It's, the video is, is on his YouTube channel. You should check that out, it's amazing. <laughs> if you're a Christian, it will take you into worship mode. And if you're just a lover of good music, check it out. Electronic music, not too hard, but still not too soft and not boring and full of depth. And it's like, it's not trance, it's not ambient, it's not breakbeat. It's a nice, nice mix of it all. It's just Andy Hunter style, it's amazing. It's a really, really, uh, really crazy great awesome combination of music so check that out and that pretty much sums up my video all right so what do you think of this new homemade vlogging video style i will continue to do my iphone vlogs outside as well of course <laughs> but in addition to that uh, every sometime i will do a video just like this in my home office uh, I've also already um, find out, figured out a way how to transform this entire place here into a home studio that looks like a professional video studio. So I will make that video soon as well. So come follow me at TobiasMichel.com and if you are interested in creating better videos, better courses, or better designs, well then sign up at TobiasMichel.com slash resources. You'll find a, a link on the bottom of uh, my page. And there you can download my PDF guide where I have found and compiled together a whole list of everything from photo editing, video editing, course creation. I love to teach, so just come and ask me questions. You can sign up for my courses or contact me and I can help you one-on-one -on -one via Skype or FaceTime or... All right, now I just finished the day by sitting in the last bits of sun outside, so that was nice. Uh, so now I'm filming this video and editing it and so how did you like this little vlog of my day video? Should I make more like this? Well, please answer and leave a comment. Would be nice. Thank you. And have a great day. Bless you. God bless you.